What's going on, everybody? Albatsky44 here. I wanted to talk about Mortal Kombat 11 and its premium edition. Uh, this is coming both physically and digitally April 23rd, of course, when the game comes out. Uh, this is for PS4 or Xbox One. Uh, the Nintendo Switch version does not have a premium edition, at least not announced yet. Uh, basically, what you get in the premium edition is the combat pack, which is the season pass, basically. Uh, that includes six new DLC playable characters, one week early access to DLC characters, seven exclusive character skins, and gear sets. Overall, you know, the combat pack is $100. Not hundred dollars. I'm sorry. It's fifty dollars, and then the game is sixty dollars. So that's a hundred ten dollars. So basically, you're saving ten bucks here if you buy this version of the game. Um, one thing to keep in mind, of course, this edition does come with the steel book that is part of the collector's edition, which is cool to see. Uh, overall, this one seems to make sense to me if you're into Mortal Kombat and you want all the stuff right away. Something else to keep in mind, you know how season passes usually drop in price at some point. So if you hold off, just get the normal edition. That season pass or the combat pass might be down to like 30 bucks at some point. So then you pay around 90 instead of 100 and might save 10 bucks. If that's something that's worth it for you, if you could hold off, I might do that. If you want the steelbook case though, get this edition and... For me, this edition is something that is for the hardcore fans, the ones that are, are going to be playing this game like crazy, want the steelbook, want all this extra DLC, want everything you can get without actually buying the collector's edition, which is $300. But, yeah, I just want to talk about a little bit. It is coming physically and digitally, so if you go to the PSN store or Xbox store right now, you can uh, pre-order this digitally, get all that stuff, but then, of course, you don't get the Steelbook case. So, in my opinion, the value drops a little bit more because you're not getting that uh, Steelbook case, which is part of the whole advertisement of the premium edition for this game. Yeah. That's about it. Just wanted to talk about it. Let me know your opinions and questions in the comments below if you guys are going to pick this one up. This is the version I'm debating on getting, honestly, because, like I said in my previous video about the Collector's Edition, $300 is a little too steep for me for that Collector's Edition just because I'm not that big of a Mortal Kombat fan. Uh, but this edition, I do want the Season Pass. I want the extra characters. So, yeah, I like the Steelbooks. So this is the edition I'm leaning towards right now uh, over the Standard Edition. Uh, but that's just me. Uh, let me know, like I said in the comments below, what you guys are thinking. Hit me up on Twitter, Elbetsky44. I'm also on Twitch, Elbetsky44. And thank you guys for watching. As always, peace out.